debt. Money is debt, promise to pay is debt. So for all intents and purposes, the money in your pocket, the money in your bank account is IOU money. No different than the promise to pay they issue to the bank. The thing is, there's only one way to cancel that obligation. Does anyone know what it is? <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me? Exactly. There's only one way to cancel that debt, and that is to give it back to the source, to return it to the issuer. In other words, if you issue a promissory note to a bank for an obligation, you have not, in fact, actually paid that obligation. Yes, you might have discharged the obligation, but you have not paid the obligation unless you have that promise to pay back in your hands. If it is not in your hands, it is still an outstanding obligation. And that's what all currency in this country is today. It's an outstanding obligation because it's not getting back to the source. And one of the primary, there's two reasons it's not getting back to the source that concern me. And one of the primary, there's two reasons it's not getting back to the source that concern me. One is, is that we claim it as income, is to say it's mine now. So if I have your promissory note and I, can, and I claim it as income, it cannot get back to you because I'm saying it's mine. And the other is the banking aspect. If the money going into a bank account, if the bank account is known not to be your bank account, then whose money is it in the bank account? Not yours. And in my view, this is all we need to establish now, is whose money is it going into and through those bank accounts? For example, if you establish a bank account, as I'll get into a little bit this afternoon, but let's say it's established in the name of Her Majesty. This is, I'm not saying this is the case, but just as an example. If the bank account is established through the government identification for Her Majesty, and you go to work and deposit your paycheck into that account, whose money is it? it belongs to Her Majesty. And it's, it's, it's so doing right then and there, whose money is it? Her Majesty's money. And so if the money that comes to you in the form of income, or what you believe to be income, goes into Her Majesty's bank account, you have at that point in time made the return to source. Technically that debt is no longer a debt. It's cancelled. And that's the ultimate objective. And I believe that everything in this country, it's, it's actually around the world, but we're only going to deal with the country here because we're in Canada. The, the land we walk on and everything that man has constructed that sits on top of it has been built with, not labor, money. And the reason I say that is because how many people here would work for no money? Let's have a show of hands. Realistically, <laughs> are right now today working for no money. <laughs> Our coffee guy. <laughs> and, uh, and the volunteers here today, thank you very much. Yes, yes, this is true. <laughs> but for all intents and purposes, the 401 highway was not built with labor, it was built with money. And the reason it was built with money is because man would not go to work and build that highway unless he was made with money. So the number one consideration in the equation is money. And if one is not going to do the work unless it gets paid money, where's love in the equation? It's not there. So the fact of the matter is that yes, money did build the highway. It does build homes, it does build factories, it builds everything that you and I use today. Not the labor. However, if we allow for the return of that money to source, then no longer did the money build it, the labor built it. And this is where we get into render to Caesar what is Caesar's, give them their money back, give them their debt back, at which point you've freed up the encumbrance because let's remember an outstanding IOU, meaning if your bank is holding a promise to pay that you issued, are you not indebted to the bank? And is the property purchased with the loan, not collateral, that the bank can seize at any time? So again, if you have your promissory note back in your hand, once you've paid the bank off, you actually have that note in your hand, then there is no encumbrance on the property possible that was purchased with the loan money. It's not possible, because you have the note back being the issuer. It's canceled the obligation. So every asset in this country I'm going to suggest is presently held as collateral by the bankers 
because we don't give them their promissory notes back, and that's what money is today. All money is debt. So we need to allow for the return of that money to the issuer. It's not that it all goes back to the issuer, but we need to allow for the return of it. And when I'm saying by allowing for the return, then one is not being a resistor. And whoever is claiming income is my money, is saying this is my promise to pay, is not allowing for the return. The source is the resistor. So there's only one way we're ever going to free up all the collateral in this country, which is basically everything, is by allowing for the return of the government-issued and bank-issued credit. Debt. There is no other way that I can figure mathematically that it is possible to free up the land, to free up that we walk on and everything that we're enjoying today. And so again, two ways in my view to do that is one is 100% tax return. So although you might go to work and receive a paycheck, the fact that you're saying, oh, I want 100% of it to go back to the tax man, you're not being paid. You're not claiming on the money, you're allowing for the return of the debt. Whether it goes back or not is another situation, but you're allowing for the return is the key. Okay, at the same time, maybe you're thinking, well, if I go to work and I get a paycheck and I tell the tax man I want 100% tax return, he's going to take it all. Well, there's a glitch there. I don't want to focus on the glitch because then you're going to start to rely on the glitch. That's not true love either, but the true intent. But they can't take the money because then they owe you. Every man's worthy of his hire. <laughs> so they got to give you something. We can't all go to work and build a highway for nothing. We can, but the system won't allow it. The system says you've got to get paid. But knowing that we're getting paid in debt money, we don't want to get paid. We want to allow for the return. And the reason we want to allow for the return ultimately is so when we get that bank account up, Her Majesty pays for the highway. We just use it. Her Majesty pays for the car. We just use it. Her Majesty pays for the house. We just use it. And the reason that's all possible is because the government, again, for all intents and purposes, is the legal owner of the name that we do work in. Everyone here that's doing work, you've got a social insurance card, a driver's license, a credit card, a house deed, a, a certificate of ownership to an automobile. It's all in these names right here, and the government owns the name. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a problem paying for performing on a contract or something that it's not my responsibility from that perspective. In other words, <clears throat> a general motor has a lot of debts, that's not my problem. In that, I cannot be called upon to perform their contractual obligations. Same thing here. It was never intended that we perform the obligations under contract for these legal names. Okay, so by allowing for a 100% tax return, we allow for the return of the money, the debt, the IOU, to return the source. By having a bank account established where it's not your account, as it is today, it says right under, your account makes it your money. Makes it your obligation now. It says right on there when you fill up the bank account agreement, you're binding yourself to that bank to do everything the bank says. That's a contract. And that's because it's your bank account. Again, by making it not your bank account, by making it Her Majesty's bank account, because the fact is, is that you have to open a bank account with a name taken off of this piece of paper, is allowing for the return of the money is saying, whatever I'm doing, whatever we're doing work-wise, we're not being paid for it with debt. But as I say, the system at that point in time, legally, says, well, that's great that these people want to work for free, <laughs> but they can't actually allow that because it becomes an unjust enrichment situation. And so in order to cure the unjust enrichment situation, it requires that they pay them. But what are they going to pay you with? Same, the same stuff you just gave back, so you don't want that. So the payment is actually use of the stuff, not the money. And this is what I say, render under Caesar what is Caesar's, then what is God's can be rendered under God. Now I'm looking at a whole bunch of gods here, we're not going to get into the uh, religious aspects of all that statement, but we're all a creator, so we're all God in that sense. What we do, we, we convert natural resources into buildings, assets, so on and so forth. That is our payment. 